shut my ass up, Jesus. Every devil in her, every cop in you could be saved. Jesus, the doctor of all doctors. Jesus, our great physician. There is no sickness we cannot heal. Every cop in you could be set free. Jesus, the doctor of all doctors. Jesus, our great physician. Prayer line. Are you feeling lost or distressed? We give you a source of hope. Join the prayer line or our helpline and get the healing touch coupled with deliverance. Prayer line is a healing section where people with various ailments, afflictions, and infirmities are arranged with their placards ready to be touched with the healing power of God, armed with doctors or medical reports as proof. The placards explain or describe the type of ailments. They are prayed on or prayed for and asked to connect or be in tune before the commencement of the healing touch. Prayer is the turning of the human soul to the living God by just a word. Psalms 107 verse 20 declares, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. New King James Version our prayer line are just a dial away 24 7. Arena Solution and Power. My name is Mrs. Comfort Namanito. Beside me is my husband. Beside him is his colleagues, family, and friends. I'm a worker here in Christ, Mercy Land, precisely a tour guard. So it all started on the 2nd of February, two days to my birthday. So I was in the office. I was feeling feverish. So I was like, what is the issue? I couldn't eat, so I just took permission from my colleagues that I want to go home to like rest. I don't know what is happening. So when I went back home, I called my husband and now told him that, ah, baby, I don't know how I'm feeling. He was like, okay, it should be malaria or, he said it should be malaria or typhoid. So he treated, because he's a medical personnel, so he treated me of malaria and typhoid, but the symptom persisted. So he was like, no, this is not just ordinary. So we now went to the hospital. So going to the hospital, they were like a lot, they gave me drips, a lot of things going on. No, in fact, the more they gave me medications, the more I'm going down. I couldn't walk anymore. I couldn't eat. I urinate on the bed. I wear pampas. I was going. I was like, what is this? So I now told my husband that, no, this is a spiritual attack. He was like, no, the doctors will do their best. I said, no, take me to Mercy City. He was like, let's see what will happen. If there's no improvement, I will take you down to your father. That was what he told me. So that night, I had a dream. We had Prophet Jeremiah. There was a crowd. So the protocols, they were trying to stop him. He was, he was on his convoy. So he just, I don't know, he had a voice. So he just stopped. Just like that, as if it was a crusade. So he just stopped. When he stopped, he was looking for me. Why he was looking for me, I was looking for him as well. He was looking for me. I was looking for him. So the moment he was able to see me, he just gave me two polo. And the moment he gave me the two polo, I woke up. So the next morning, the doctor now came and said, I can't make it anymore. That either... The she doctor flies. told you, sir, he says, yeah. I will not be able to make it. The doctor it. said, you cannot make, make it. it. That yeah. means you will die. Yes. So the doctor said that there's no hope anymore. That either they fly me to India, but the chances are 50-50. If, if they fly her to India, even she may come back to life or she will die. So I was like, no. So I was, while I was in the hospital, 
I couldn't eat. I was always taking water of life, water of life. That was the only thing I was taking, water of life. So immediately, when my husband stepped out, when I told him, I'm tired of this hospital, please take me to Christ Mercy Land. So when he went outside to pick a cup, so the doctor now came to my ear and whispered to me and now told me, that place you are going to can never help you. The doctor came and told her, he came to her and he said, where you are going, it will not help you. You have gone. So I now told him, doctor, you are a liar. I must come back and testify. That's why I told him. Because I have a father. So when my husband came back, I now told him, he now said, let's go. Your father is waiting for you. Let us hear from your husband. And we need, who are the people that are standing beside you? Tell her the story. Because... You don't know yourself when you came to this place. What happened? Messiland. Arena of solution and power. power. Messiland. Arena of solution and power. I am very, very happy to be here. My name is Emma Isong, Life Aid Doctors, Lagos. This is my wife. Yes. Miss Comfort. Uh -huh. This is my boss. Your guy? Doctor. <laughs> doctor! He's a doctor again. Mm. Doctor Tony Obo. Doctor Tony Obo, uh huh. He's, he's actually the CEO of Life Aid Doctors. Oh? Nationwide. Big man for Life Aid Doctor. Your guy? Uh huh. This is Doctor Alabi Richard. Doctor! <laughs> Let's listen to the testimony. Doctor, uh huh. This is the chief matron. Also a doctor. Like She's a, a doctor! doctor. <laughs> hmm. This good. is Dr. Idolo. Dr. Idolo! Wonderful. This is, I normally call him Oga. Oga? This is my landlord. Your landlord? Who saw everything huh? that happened. Yes, my landlord. What's his name? His name is Mr. Femos. Okay, he's a landlord. Yes, my landlord. landlord. Yes. Very good. This is the wife. His wife. Yes. And this is the legal advisor, life aid doctors. You say what? Barista Bankole. Uh, this is my sister. This is my niece, my nephew, a very good friend. Amos. He's a pastor. You are all welcome. <laughs> all right. Tell us what happened. Uh, please permit me to stand on the existing protocols. Um, it was not all that easy the way my wife was trying to explain. Yeah. I was actually trying to tap her that if I can come in to do the talking. Yeah, because, because she, uh, was, she don't know what happened. Because she wasn't herself. <laughs> she was like now. Thing, yeah. so. She didn't know anything. He's just uh, trying to get some facts from what I briefed you told her. her. Yes. Well, um, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. I, I, since the miracle came up, I normally tax this testimony that the God of Jeremiah has shocked me. Shocked you. The God of Jeremiah have, he has shocked him. He's surprised. Good people. Shock, I define it as a sudden depression of mental equilibrium. Huh? You know? I don't hear that grammar. Mm. Come again. I define shock. I actually came up with this definition after the miracle. So I define shock as a sudden depression of mental equilibrium. The miracle of... Right. I describe my father in the Lord. I normally call him General G-C-O-N. I called him a gargantuous metamorphosis mm. that would never allow his father's predicament to rob his ambition, meaning he's unstoppable. Uh. Uh. 
Go ahead. Doctors we treat, but God cure. Listen to that word. Say it again. Doctors treat, but God cure. True. It all started as a malaria and then the typhoid. That it was I was like looking at because ordinary, I don't think anything serious could happen. Either stress or maybe just malaria because she has been exposed or anything. But after the treatment of malaria, the typhoid, we discovered that uh, she couldn't come up, at least it's supposed to be up between uh, uh, three to four or five days. But unfortunately, she was going down. She was deteriorating day by day. I so I try all I could, took her to the hospital so that uh, I based in Lagos, so we may not have enough facility to, for me to give her the treatment. So I took her to the hospital, talked to the medical director, they admitted her, and then they started treatment. They treated the malaria, conducted the test again, they discovered that we still have malaria, about two pluses, and then the, the typhoid there was not very significant. And then what could have been the problem that makes her not to eat, not to look so pale, and all that. And so when the situation was under, was not controlled, I, we were not able to detect after treating the, you know, the basic things. I have to order the hospital to further check some, uh, some thing internally. So they conducted urinalysis, they conducted some other tests that um, will prove, uh, let's check what is actually wrong with the inside, the internal body. So at the end of the day, we discovered that uh, the two of our kidneys were filled up, totally destroyed. The two kidneys? Yes. Mama, Papa, listen, two kidneys means that is your life. We have kidney failure and we have kidney, what is called totally dead. Kidney failure, you can, you can manage small, small, do. but dead, this is destroyed. It is finished. You don't go. Anybody that living without kidney, you are nobody. You don't die. That's the meaning. Thank you. So before this, we, oh. my wife couldn't talk, couldn't eat for over two weeks. Uh, the skin color turned to yellow. The two legs were paralyzed, couldn't walk. And then the, the upper and the lower jaw, they joined together. And he couldn't open her mouth any longer. And then he, she has what they call urinary incontinence. The urine and the feces, they were just going out in parallel at the same time. So the bladder couldn't control the urine. So she was just excreting almost everything in her body to the point that it was excreting fats. Just the urine was just going like that. And so we had no choice than to use uh, adult pampas just to see how we can manage the situation. Adult pampas. So that means the sickness is going gradually, gradually, gradually. Before someone will put on pampas as a patient in the hospital, that person have gone far, about to die. Yes, go. So the tummy was swollen. Swollen. Very, very big. Meaning that uh, the, 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 the bladder has been filled up and then, you know, the, the kidney couldn't do its work any longer. And so everything in our body, both the physiological aspect of our body and the internal, will actually not what it wasn't normal any longer. And I saw my wife, I watched my wife going gradually. And she was actually waving me and was smiling and was telling me she loves me. She was? So she loves me. She loves yeah. you. So that means it's gone. At this point, she was like, it dragged me to her mouth. She was whispering, telling me that the dream she's having, she's under judgment. So under what? Judgment. Judgment. So he saw some group of people wearing black sultan, black garments, and red. They were talking to her, telling her a lot of things. So I know too well these are, uh, should I say, the symptoms of uh, something not going normal. Actually, she was going. She was going. My wife, in fact, 
We couldn't help. She was, everything just happened so fast. Within seconds, this one will happen, this one will happen, this one. In just one minute, we can discover a lot of things. So we couldn't control as human. So we had about six doctors gathering my wife up. How many doctors? About six doctors. Because the medical doctor and other medical doctors gathered the woman. Doctors don't allow their wife to die. So we now call other doctors. So now six of them gathered her. Go ahead. And then we had another doctor from Washington, D.C. Where? Washington, D.C. That is USA. Okay. And then another one from India, and it is doctor. Listen, no, listen to where they, he's calling. This is a medical doctor from Washington, D.C. And this, that is uh, USA, America. Then another one from India. Go ahead. So these are doctors I actually contacted online uh, for them to also support us with ideas and what we can do. They were all specialists. Uh, so, but they couldn't help. All these are doctors contributing. Uh, then the, 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 the biggest of all, my own company, Life Aid Doctors, uh, from Lagos and even the one in, in Warri here, they were talking another to me. And other doctors from Lagos, because doctor's wife. It's a medical doctor's wife, so I have to. Now, another doctor from Lagos, now join the ones in uh, Warri. Go ahead with the testimony. So, we were communicating, we were talking, they were sending ideas, instructions, and all that. But at a certain point... How can we do for her to come back to life? They were now bringing their best. Everybody bringing their best. Contributing. Do this, do that. This are you going to do. This. Go ahead. The testimony. So the more we came up with, and with our ideas, effort, the more my wife was going, I think she was, her health situation was just deteriorating. So we had no option than the doctors to just gather and have a little meeting and then they were trying to hide me some things. Because now, I, I, listen, doctors, they have found out that they couldn't revive the woman, his wife again. They now said, let us hide him some certain things as a medical doctor. The woman, she is dead already. So the doctors have a meeting on their own and hiding him somewhere. They don't tell him again. Go ahead with your testimony. So the nun came up. I was like, they shouldn't hide me anything because I was emotionally depressed. So I had no option as a doctor. I was crying all day and then it couldn't help. So they told me, well, uh, there's nothing we can do about it at this point. Is either we commence dialysis or why you prepare your way to take your wife to India. And so that there's no option. And the way it even is 50-50. Not that when we commence this dialysis that is going to bring any solution. It's just to like manage her. It's just to manage her maybe till the point she would die. Just like somebody that is suffering from cancer. Just to manage the pain so that by the time she will finally go. And so I was so quick and fast enough so at the end of the day, they left, and then I was left with no body. I was thinking all day. So I remember that uh, in the house, my wife has a, a water of life. I so I was like, what can I do? Can this really serve? Actually, I don't be believe in miracles. I don't so much believe in mi miracles. Listen to that word. Listen to that word. Wait, wait, wait. Doctors did not believe in the miracle, many of them. Majority of doctors, some believe, all, but majority, don't be deceived, of doctors, they don't believe in miracles. They believe on their talents. Am I talking to somebody? Because he didn't believe in miracles, but it's in beyond their control. So doctors cannot do any other thing again. So go ahead. So you go to what? So I remember the water of life. And so she has been telling me about water of life. You have been telling him water of life miracles. is good though. It's good though. The miracles that you have been doing. So whenever she told me that, uh, she tells me water of life, I said, just forget it. Forget it. But I actually love the prophet. I oh. love the prophet so much. But uh, the miracle, well? Well? Uh, uh, well? <laughs> 
The miracles. Well, well, he loves me. But because he did not see my father, Jesus, because he did not believe that one. Well, <laughs> let's so, go. I had no, in fact, before this, she has been telling me, take me to the church, take me to the, I said, if I take you to the church, in the church, what would the church do for you? I, this is the, you know. Medical, somebody said medical doctors. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so I ran home, get the water of life, and then before this, when, when the doctor left, uh, like today, that night, my wife gave up. She died. Let me use that. Mm. And then I used the water of life. You used the water of life? Yes. And then forced... She was lifeless. Yes. I forced her mouth, opened it with spoon, and then I was able to pour the water of life inside Inside the water of life. Power! Some of the power! Power! Mm. He forced the water of life inside her mouth because she's already gone. What happened, doctor? And so, I, when I forced her mouth and then poured the, the liquid inside her mouth and then closed, I was just washing her. You're just washing her I after said, giving her the water of life. She has been saying so much about water of life. Let me see what will happen. Okay. And so, I was just holding my hand. <laughs> She has been saying too much about this water. As already she's gone. Let me see this water of life has done. And so... It will uh, yes? It wasn't up to, uh, let's say 10 to 15 minutes. I saw something happening. Mm. Mm. Power. 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 Oh my God. Yes. So suddenly she began to pull her legs. She dropped her leg. Pull her legs she to herself, the legs. and then turn, and then open her two eyes, and then she said, "Baby, how are you doing?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, This is wonderful. Let's go. Doctor, tell us more. Well, when I saw that miracle happening, I had no choice than to like uh, prepare her and then they took her, they rushed her down to the church. I said, let us go to the church. Before this, I've already put a call through and I was able to reach, the, by the grace of God, the secretary of this church. And he told me, Doctor, what are you doing? Bring her to the church. And so I was wondering, bring her to the church. What will happen in the church? Okay, now, I want to ask you, I want to ask you a question. What your, your, your friends or your colleagues have told you about the, the situation? The medical doctor from America and India. They told no, you anything they, about? Yes, they said nothing can be done. Nothing can be done apart from starting we should start dialysis then preparing her to go to india and then my 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 dear brothers and sisters the least amount that you can use for kidney transplants abroad is be between six to ten million naira, and it's not even a guarantee that when, when it's not, get, even now it's not guarantee it's not guarantee yes not that you transplanted that it is over no that was something can happen eh yes Okay. So, though I might not, I won't say all this alone. My colleague will also bring some uh, this in fact inside. But let me quickly summarize it. So, we rushed her down to the church, and then I was able to communicate, and uh, the church did a very wonderful work. I was just watching. I was crying. I was weeping. I was so weak. And so, before I know, they arranged her, and then put her on stretcher prayer line and then I was just watching to see something happening. 